Alright, so today there is something quite interesting I would like to talk about and in this video I'm going to try and be a little bit less aggressive and confrontational than usual because we will be talking about a private person instead of a public figure today so I'm trying to be as respectful as I possibly can since I don't want to like send a hate mob to a private person. But still, this guy embarrassed himself on national television so I gotta call him out. But you know, just try and not be rude to this guy if you have to like come across him on Twitter or something. Also before we really start I did get new braces in yesterday so my apologies if I sound a little bit weird today. I hope it's not too bad though. Anyway so today's story starts at Raging Rivers Water Park in Raftion, Illinois where this guy now claims that his overweight daughter experienced severe trauma during their visit to the water park. So now you might be thinking what kind of situation caused this guy's daughter to be traumatized? Could he have maybe witnessed a pool side accident of some sort or did she get hurt in an accident herself or it could even be something as dark as like an assault occurring on water park grounds so what really happened to her well the disappointing answer is the trauma was caused by her not being able to get on the slide because she was too heavy what bro what are you talking about man so the story here is as follows, this guy went to the top of the slide with his daughter and wife and then a water park worker asked the daughter to first weigh herself before entering the slide and then this happened. She steps on the scale and she's 205. The ride has a 200 pound weight limit. To have a company be responsible for such a massive mental impact on my daughter is it's tough again i'm really trying to be respectful today but this is not some sort of massive mental impact if this is a quote-unquote massive mental impact to you and your family then your life is just too easy i'm sorry but it just is i'll tell you what a massive mental impact is last fall one of my friends ended her life to me that had a dramatic impact on my mental health like i personally was devastated for weeks and i'm not entirely over it yet and still feel somewhat guilty so to have someone sit here and say that not being able to get on a water park slide devastated their mental health well that does infuriate me quite a bit but again I really am trying to be a good guy today so I'm just gonna provide a rational argument here there is a real reason why things like amusement park rides or elevators for instance have weight limits because the whole structure was only built to support people up to a certain weight and if that limit got exceeded there could potentially be damages to the slide or even the whole structure might collapse or at the very least not properly function or also you could get stuck in one of the slides if you're too heavy and too big so there's a good reason we have weight limits because you know sometimes slides can't be built so that everyone can go on them that's just a architectural fact that we have to accept which is also why i believe that the water park worker in this case did the right thing by not allowing her onto the slide because letting her go would have been completely irresponsible in my mind not being able to ride the brand new ride was definitely overshadowed by the public humiliation of being asked to step on a scale and then further than that being told you're you're overweight again this is a private person so I'm trying to be charitable here but your daughter is 13 years old and weighs 205 pounds which is approximately 93 kilos. Your daughter is objectively overweight and needs to lose some pounds. I'm not saying that to be mean but when I was 13 years old I weighed 46 kilos or 101.5 pounds which is not even half of what she weighs right now. And even right now, I do have a bit of muscle mass on me because I'm into sports, but I do still weigh significantly less than what she weighs. And I'm not even like a small guy, I I'm like 6 feet tall. So there's no denying that your daughter is objectively obese. For instance, if we take your daughter's weight and the average height of a 13 year old girl in the United States and put that data into the body mass index, you get 38, which is categorized as extremely obese. Like if I am not mistaken, this is at the upper end of category 2 obese. Now I do have some issues with the BMI measurement system for various reasons, but with very strong overweight and underweight people, it typically is rather accurate. So you your daughter needs to change and she needs to change quickly because look I really don't care all that much if you as an adult are fat I really don't within reason of course but if you're just like a bit obese without it really negatively affecting your physical health I'm not gonna like 
fat shame you or whatever. But if you as a parent allow your child to become morbidly obese, you are in my opinion irresponsible and might be at fault for your child getting stuck in a circle of obesity when they are adults or even for getting their health partially destroyed because of their obesity in their childhood. Now the problem here is that this guy lets his daughter be obese. But then he also complains about her daughter getting called overweight on national television. Now firstly your daughter is only gonna get called obese and overweight more often now that you went on national television. So you really are short sighted for that. But also I think sometimes people need to be told that they are overweight. Especially when they are in that age of around 13. I know that from experience because when I was young and just turned 13 I became an overweight kid myself weighing in at a solid 132 pounds. Because my dad at the time was running like a small time restaurant and every day after school I would just go to the fryer and make myself like a toast or some chicken or a burger with fries and that obviously caused my weight to go up. But then I think I remember vividly someone at school calling me fat and that triggered something in me to realize yeah I was in fact overweight. Now granted 132 is a massive difference to 205 especially since I was probably taller than her but regardless within 3 months I lost weight and got down to 46 kilos or 101.5 pounds like I previously mentioned. You know and this all happened because I was a kid and I was told that I was overweight and you know that changed me because I previously didn't even realize that I could change being overweight because if you have overweight parents you probably believe you're destined to be overweight like I did but people publicly telling you you're overweight might actually help you in the long run. So as fucked up as this might sound I think this situation happening is ultimately a good thing especially since her parents have no intention for her to ever lose weight. We as parents now have to you know undo the emotional damage that this you know corporate company cost us. Now he even stated in a post, Raging Rivers has been a source of joy for my daughter throughout her childhood. To have such an amazingly awful experience today has saddened me beyond words, as well as negatively impacted my daughter in a way that I'm sure we are going to be discussing in therapy for years to come, and all over 5 pounds. So now this is what's gonna happen. Your daughter is gonna go to school every day. Other kids are going to tell her that she's fat every day. She'll come home sad every day. You'll tell her it's okay to be fat every day. And she'll cry about it in therapy every day. Your daughter will have a miserable teenage life most probably and she might suffer serious consequences in her later life if she doesn't lose that weight which you made her gain in the first place. That's just fact. So what you instead should be doing instead of attempting to talk this over in years of therapy is taking advantage of the fact that your daughter right now is at an age where she will get taller and use that to go exercise with her and make her lose weight faster than she usually would. And then she could live a normal teenage life. I hope this guy realizes that his daughter is way too obese. Like we're talking BMI of 38. That is Nikocado avocado levels of obese. Double of what's healthy. She needs to lose weight fast and I hope her father realizes this. And I really hope people are not gonna be calling me fat phobic for this. I mean I get you have been locked inside for two years and that's probably had some impact on your daughter's physical health but still. 205 pounds at 13. That's inexcusable. This is not over 5 pounds like he thinks. This is like over 80 pounds. So please get her some help. Anyway that's gonna do it for the video. Was I too harsh to this guy and his parenting? I really care about people's opinion in this video so please share your opinion in the comments and yeah drop a like in this video if you enjoyed. Sub to the channel and I'll see ya.